I am in the educational capital of India and today I am touring Newton School of Technology's Pune campus. In case if you're wondering, does Newton School of Technology have a campus in Pune? Yes guys, they do it. They do it from now itself. Now, so many of you students might be wondering, why has Newton School of Technology opened up a campus in Pune? Guys, it is because of the demand from thousands of you students seeing their achievements in the past one year that they decided to start their new campus in Pune. Known as the student capital, Pune is famous for its academic culture and bustling student community. Along with that, the prime location makes it so much more accessible to students from all around the country. Guys, Pune being the educational hub offers ample of resources, networking opportunities and tons of extracurricular activities for all you students to go explore. Last year, I'd given you a tour of the Rishud campus which you all loved. In case you haven't checked out that video, make sure you go do it. With the success of that, they have also launched a campus in Pune. This is in collaboration with Ajinkya D.Y. Patil University. Rest of the talking I'll do inside, come let's go. This, by the way, is a 100-acre campus. And to be honest, my first impression, this is really very green and serene. Very, very calm with these tall trees and amazing buildings. Let me go inside. This was a really good cardio from the main gate till the classroom block. Welcome in. This is the admin area of the classroom block. This is where you have the deans, directors, program coordinators sitting. By the way, I don't know how many times I've told you, but the outdoors of the campus look really very nice. Let's go. Guys, Newton School of Technology was started by Nishan Chandra and Siddharth Maheshwari, who are both the alumni of IIT Roorkee. Their major aim is to change the way education is taken forward by making sure that students are holistically developed and have all the employable skills that are needed in today's time. Finally, I'm going to give you a tour of the classrooms now. Let's go in. Guys, what you're seeing right now is the old infrastructure. Before you all come on the campus, it is going to be completely revamped and this is how it is going to look. The program that you students are going to be taught here is BTEC in CSE and Artificial Intelligence. Guys, one of the major reasons of success of Newton School of Technology is the industry-backed curriculum. They're really trying to bring industry to the classrooms. You are going to be taught by faculty members from MIT, Stanford and IITs. Along with that, they are trying to bring in the industry experts and mentors from various companies like Google, Amazon and Flipkart. Another very important thing is that they're really trying to focus on one-on-one -on -one mentorship and personal mentorship. One of the best parts about Newton School of Technology is that they will be providing MacBooks to each and every student who enrolls. This definitely is very important because your students will be working on really complex projects. Now guys, even though on the campus there are a lot of labs for all your students to use, Newton School of Technology is also trying to promote a culture of no labs. They feel that they've created a lot of these outdoor open spaces for all your students to come and explore. Definitely come with your friends, come with your teams, come with your groups and collaborate. All these outdoor open spaces really inspire creativity in you which again is very important because like I said you'll be working on really complex problems. Welcome to the auditorium of Newton School of Technology's Pune campus. Since the founders have focused a lot on holistic development, this is going to be your playground because this is where you're going to be experimenting with dance, music, theatre, quizzing, debating and what not. All these skills are super important in today's time. Yeah, we know about how good the weather in Bangalore is, but weather gods in Pune have been really very kind to us. It's drizzling and it's windy and the weather looks good. Because the weather is amazing, the campus looks even better because it's so green and with like trees and everything. Perfect chai weather, perfect chai weather. Within just split seconds, it started raining like cats and dogs. Since this is raining, I thought of taking this break and getting my lunch. By the way, I have come to Communion. This is their cafeteria, which is also open to outsiders. And it looks fab, very, very modern and cool. I mean, it doesn't even look like a cafe in a college. Guys, along with this, they have other 
canteens and mess area for all you students. But I am completely a fan of it. I am definitely going to be trying food in some time from now. So let's catch you guys after lunch. Now guys, usually one of the major doubts that students have is regarding internship. So basically, there's a six months mandatory internship, which is the part of the curriculum at Newton School of Technology, with an average stipend of thirty thousand rupees per month. Now you don't necessarily have to believe each and everything that I say, but the benefit is that the program has already been running for one year, and we have gotten testimonials from students. So basically, one of their students cracked the Google Summer of Code internship with an average stipend of one point two five lakh rupees per month. Along with that, one of the students is also going to Wikimedia Hackathon in Europe. Along with that, their students even participated in ICPC, which is one of the most prestigious coding competitions in the world. Now, all these things show the fact that the curriculum has been really very successful, and students are really liking it. Along with that, all the entrepreneurial minds, there's something really amazing for you as well because they are willing to provide you with one crore rupees of seed fund. to start a business venture of your own so if you have a good idea you can work on it they will help you incubate it and even fund it which again is a really very good thing since it is a fully residential program i am going to give you a tour of the hostel block guys the hostel block is 1.5 kilometers away from the campus and the shuttle services to and fro will be provided by the campus itself as far as the hostel is concerned it's very very safe and secure as you have male and female wardens guards on duty lift CCTV cameras, biometric attendance, and what not. Come, let me give you a tour of the hostel now. Before I give you guys tour of their rooms, this is the common corridor area. Each of the corridors have a fridge, a microwave, proper Wi-Fi, and water dispenser. Come, let's go now. All right, this is the room that I'm touring. Ta-da! This is how their hostel rooms look like guys each of the rooms here are in a triple sharing model which means it is either going to be shared by three boys or three girls all in all the rooms look really very neat and tidy uh, there is a good amount of space here as you can see there are three beds there are three study tables which i'm pretty sure you're going to be using because you have to do a lot of the tech work and coding and everything along with that there are three cupboards uh, with a lot of space on the top and a good amount of space inside so you can store everything that you need all your clothes There is a proper window. Let me check the view. Yes, the view looks really very nice. This window is very important for proper ventilation. I can also see a swimming pool in another colony, but yeah, it looks really very good. Another very good thing is that their washroom is not shared, which means the WC and the bathing area is separate. So you don't specifically have to wait for one person to come out only to use the washroom. All in all, the rooms look neat and tidy. Good impression. All right, so this is the dining area of the hostel property. This is where all the food services will be provided to you. Another important part of holistic development is sports because the campus is so huge but obviously they have tons and tons of sports options for all you people. Right now I'm standing on the lawn tennis court. But along with the lawn tennis court, they also have basketball court, a full-fledged cricket ground, volleyball, and a lot more. My humble request to all you people is that, along with all the coding and everything that you're going to be learning and studying, please spend time playing all these sports and gaining skills. Very, very important for all you all. All right, guys, I've come to the end of my tour here for Newton School of Technology's Pune campus. I hope you liked each and every bit of it. Now, in order for you to get admission here, you need to appear for NSAT, which stands for Newton Scholastic and Aptitude Test. It is a national level test, guys. Every detail relating to the eligibility criteria, admission process, fees, scholarship, I put in the description of this video. So make sure you go check it up. I will also be putting the link in the description below of Newton School of Technology's website. So make sure you go check that up as well. 